Appearing in a dark business suit, Kim Jong-un signals to his enemies what could provoke him to launch a nuclear warhead. Our republic will not use a nuclear weapon unless its sovereignty is encroached upon by any aggressive, hostile forces with nuclear weapons. But would Kim only play defense with nuclear weapons? His regime has declared it is expanding its nuclear force, quote, in quality and quantity. It doesn't appear that North Korea wants to slow down its nuclear weapons program. It appears that they want to make more nuclear weapons and they want to make those weapons more deadly. Tonight, U.S. officials tell CNN they're preparing for a provocation from North Korea. A U.S. intelligence official says it's expected the regime will again test a nuclear bomb. The monitoring group 38 North released new satellite images of the Pungay Ri nuclear test site, which it says indicate a test could come soon. There's still vehicles at the test site, um, but there's reduced activity at the test site, and that, and that could be an indication of, of overall clearing out in, in preparation for actually conducting a test. The latest assessment from weapons experts is that the ambitious, unpredictable North Korean leader now has between 10 and 20 nuclear bombs and as many as eight types of missiles which can deliver them. He likely can miniaturize his warheads to fit on medium-range missiles that can hit South Korea, Japan, or the U.S. territory of Guam. Analysts say they can probably fit a warhead onto a long-range missile capable of hitting the U.S., but they haven't flight-tested those missiles to survive re-entry. The danger? Even when a North Korean test fails, this regime succeeds. Every time they uh, conduct a nuclear test, uh, they resolve a technical puzzle uh, or they overcome uh, a technical problem uh, which uh, uh, they had before. This comes as Kim closes his Workers' Party Congress. Analysts say this event, following his bloody purges of top generals, crowns Kim's effort to shift power away from his military and toward himself. The military has been, for all intents and purposes, neutered within the, the leadership. The key positions of power within the leadership have been turned over multiple times. So I see it highly unlikely that the military can challenge Kim Jong-un at this point. In fact, this Workers' Party Congress is seen as a sort of coronation for Kim. But as he elevates his own power and the generals lose theirs, experts are worried tonight that at a moment of crisis there may not be a top general with enough power, enough influence to warn Kim against using a nuclear weapon.